Hi, welcome back to the Spring Boot JPA tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about the query methods for in keyword. Okay, so in the previous video, we have already discussed about what is query methods and how to create the query methods and what are the naming conventions that we need to follow while creating the query methods. In case if you missed that video, I'll drop a link in the description section of this video. Make sure to check out that video. Let's move on. In this video, we're going to discuss about the query methods for in keyword. So consider the employee entity, which has a two fields, name and location. And we need to query to the database to retrieve the list of employees in which the employee name has John, Mike or David. Okay, so we need to retrieve the list of employees that includes the names John, Mike and David. Okay, or we need to retrieve the list of employees which has the location India or Australia. Okay, so in order to achieve this requirement instead of writing the SQL query, we can write the query method. And here is a query method for that. Find by the name, which is the field name and followed by the in keyword. And this is going to take a list of strings as a parameter. And we are going to pass the list of employee names, John, Mike and David. Okay. And similarly for the location, find by location, which is the field name and followed by the in keyword. And this is going to take a list of strings or the list of locations as a parameter. So behind the scenes, the JPA will create and execute the following query, select star from employee where name in, and it will takes the values, the John, Mike and David. Okay. Similarly, select star from employee where location in, it will take the locations as values, India and Australia. So this is how we can create the query methods for the in keyword. Okay, so now let's jump into the STS ID and let's create the Spring Boot application and let's write the finder methods for the in keyword. All right, I'm inside the STS ID. I have already created the Spring Boot project, which is find by in. If I open this and I have already created the controller, entity and repository. So inside the entity, we have the ID, name, brand, description and price. Okay, so now let's go to the laptop repository and let's quickly write the finder methods. So this is going to return list of laptops. So the return type is list of laptop and the query method, which is find by followed by the field name, which is name. And we need to use the in keyword and this is going to takes list as a parameter. I'm going to call this names. Similarly, we're going to write a one more query method, which is list of laptop find by followed by the price. And we're going to use the in keyword. And this is going to take a list of big decimal. This is prices. Let me import the least and big decimal. Okay, so now let's save this. So now let's go to the controller and let's create the rest endpoints or the finder handler methods. First of all, we need to auto wire the uh, laptop repository. So laptop repository and I'm going to call this L repo. Let me auto wire this. Public, this is going to return the response entity. Get laptops by names. And I'm going to annotate this with get mapping annotation laptops slash names. And inside this, we are going to return a new response entity, return new response entity.
we're going to make use of the laptop repository to call the finder methods lrepo find by name in and what i'll do is i'm going to uh, pass the array so for that i'm going to use arrays dot as list and we're going to pass the few things okay let me open the mysql database and we have this hp and lenovo let's pass this hp and lenovo hp lenovo and we need to pass the http status okay let me import the list okay so now i'm going to take a copy of this and i'll paste it and i'm going to write a handler method for the prices laptops by prices and this will be find by price in and this is going to take array as a list and we are going to pass the new big decimal big decimal and we're going to pass the price uh, let's say 50,000 and let me copy this and paste it now let's say 1 lakh okay i believe it's 1 lakh no it's 10 lakh okay so now it's 1 lakh okay so let me import the big decimal okay all right so now we have created the handler methods for names and prices so let me save this and i'll quickly run the application the application is started and it is running on the port 8080 let me open the postman and localhost 8080 slash laptops slash names and when i click on the send we do get the JSON data which is HP and Lenovo we have a two records in our database okay so we are passing the HP and Lenovo as the list okay so now let's test for the price slash laptops slash prices click send we do get two records 50,000 and 50,000 okay we are passing 50,000 and 1 lakh but one lakh record is not available in the database okay so 50,000 and one lakh right now we have only 50,000 inside our uh, database so the hp and lenovo that is why it is displaying okay so we can pass instead of one lakh we can pass the 60,000 so that uh, it will display one more record so let me restart the application and when i go to the postman and when i click on this send we do get three records Lenovo, HP and Dell. Alright, that's it for this video. I will see you in the next video.